week we introduced you to two women who are about to undergo breast augmentation enlargement and uh, they are back now to tell us and show us how their surgery went and with them of course is their doctor Dr. Helen Colon who performed both operations and we have Jill Herzog Hello. and Leslie it's Adcock right? Yes. 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 Nice to see you all again. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Jill, let's talk to you first. You just had your surgery, what, Monday? Monday. And we spoke to you on the phone Tuesday. Yes. You were feeling pretty good. Yeah, I felt great. Okay, you happy now with, this, with the I results? I am so thrilled. Everybody was very supportive. Everybody was really pulling for me and happy that I was happy about doing it. And the surgery just was great. Oh, and Dr. Cohen was very meticulous, mm -hmm. very careful on everything that she did. And I can't believe the results. Well, let's look, okay? Let, okay. We're going to see a picture <laughs> oh, wait of... A <laughs> This was Jill before her operation, and you were self-conscious about it. You wanted to be more fashionable. You wanted to wear right. off-the-shoulder clothing. I also wanted to be more in proportion. Yes, to your hips. That's right, I remember. And now let's see uh, your breasts after the surgery. That's My boy. Yeah, see the difference. My boyfriend's in the audience. He's laughing now watching these pictures. He's laughing? Well, where is he? Let's He's talk right to him. him. Why are you laughing? <laughs> the up-and-coming thing, you know? The up and the up and Everybody's a comedian. He's afraid watching the, the pictures of my girlfriend. <laughs> are you happy she had the surgery? Well, I'm happy for her, yeah. It was important to her, not to you? It was, more, it was very important to her, I think, yeah. It was her decision. He's happy either way. He's just happy that I was, that's something that I wanted to do. With, to him, it didn't make a difference. He loved you anyway. Right. <laughs> he doesn't like to admit it, though. <laughs> what's his name? Yeah, what's uh, his name is Dennis Dugonatis, and those are his two nephews with him. The nephews, too, huh? The whole yeah. family. Of him. <laughs> I tell you, you all are brave. You really are. Okay, Leslie. Yes. Leslie, you had had four children. Yes. So you wanted not only to... Uh, at one point, you had also had your breasts reduced, I, th I thought. No? no, I had an uplift done with implants. Okay, it was the other lady that was yes. originally mm -hmm. right. supposed to be with us. That's right. So you had, an, you had them enlarged and also lifted. And lifted, right. Okay, well, how did the surgery go for you? It went terrific. I was operated on on Thursday, and I was out of the hospital on Friday and back to work. And you I recuperated great. a little bit over the weekend. Was there any tenderness? Any there, a little bit of discomfort for a lot of satisfaction. Very well, we positive. We talked to you on Monday, I think, and uh, you were just fine. Yes, I was Jill very good. Did say yeah. that she was in pain yesterday, but mm -hmm. you had Tender no trouble and at all. Sore. Right. So what did you do? Just take aspirin for it, or yeah, a little Tylenol. Tylenol. Is no that aspirin? aspirin? You cannot no. take aspirin; it causes bleeding. You have to take Tylenol. Oh, okay. Glad you said that. Uh, Don't do it after your breast augmentation. You should augmentation. not take aspirin before surgery, any surgery, and you should not take aspirin after any surgery. Okay. Now, Leslie, you were a little embarrassed about showing your own breasts, so we're going to show a picture of what your breasts were basically like before. This mm -hmm. is some somebody else's. We'll remain nameless. <laughs> okay. So. The, You'd had four children, you'd breastfed, and they were just a little and on the saggy side. Of weight, I have lost a lot of weight over the years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is what happened to Leslie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very, it's a big it's difference. It's even better than it? that. It's even better than that? Yeah, much better. Well, you should have shown your own. <laughs> much better. <laughs> if you're that proud, Leslie. Okay. Dr. Colin, what should a woman know ahead of time? I know you do a psychological profile on them right. before. Uh, every patient who comes in has to know what they want first. They have to understand their limitation, whether they need an uplift or just a plain augmentation or uh, implants inserted. As I said uh, last time, I use a saline implant, you have that. Maybe you uh, can that. which is uh, a bag, an empty bag where I inject saline water. Why don't you lift water. that up, Dr. Colin, if you can? It's an empty uh, bag, and I inject saline to adjust the size of the breast. Sometimes one breast is smaller than the other. Yes, so that's common, I, isn't it? That's right. So mm -hmm. I can adjust I the size. Uh -huh. it's, that was the case with uh, Jill. Now, in case like Jill's, I inserted from the under the arm. So her scar is under the arm. And on the picture, you show, you, I guess you saw a little yes. Band-Aid. Yes. Um, How big is the scar? What, about an inch? Uh, about an inch. Gosh, that's nothing. Uh, that's Amazing. That's it. And um, in a case like uh, Leslie's, uh, we have to do an uplift. Of course, I use the incision that I make for the uplift, and through that incision, I insert the implant. So that's Again, under her breast. Breast. Under yes. her breast. And it's a lifelong? It's a lifelong uh, implant, and um, you put it under the muscle, so that minimizes the capsular contracture and minimizes the feeling of any hardness. 
And a woman like Jill, who has no children, but perhaps hopes to someday, will be able to breastfeed. There is uh, Absolutely. The yeah. surgery marks right yeah, there. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to come back in a moment, and we're going to take your phone calls. If you have any questions for Dr. Colin about breast augmentation, or I guess about breast reduction, too, if you'd like, call us at 955-9800, and we'll take your calls. Talking with three women about breast augmentation, two women who've had the surgery and their doctor, and we're going to go to the audience because I, a lot of women are concerned about the dangers, and so we'll take some call, uh, some questions from the audience. Hello. Yes, I would like to know uh, an 18-year-old, 17-year-old young lady could have this implant. Absolutely. The implant goes underneath the muscle. It does not disturb the breast tissue. You can still have examination, you can breastfeed, and you can have a mammogram and uh, it is safe. Okay, thank you. thank you. Good morning, you're on the morning show. Hi, good morning. Uh, what are the risks involved? <laughs> uh, the, there are a few. One risk is that if the uh, person develops scar tissue around the implant, the implant may feel uh, harder than natural breast. That's why I like to put it under the muscle because that minimizes that feeling of hardness. Sometimes if it's really um, hard, you have to go back and take out the capsule or break the capsule. Uh, another one um, is that you always worry, as with any um, surgery, you worry about uh, infection. Uh, this happens very rarely. You cover the patient with antibiotics, but this is one of the risks. Okay. Another risk uh, for one of our uh, ladies here was that she was basically fired from her job for coming on this show and talking about her surgery. I think that says a lot still about the stigma of this sort of cosmetic surgery. I don't think they can do Leslie, that. Leslie, we're really sorry I about think. that. I, I'm it, it's my belief that that was an issue of my discharge yesterday and is very abrupt. But You, you came know, back to work on Friday and were told to move out of your office. I worked from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I would yesterday. consult your legal beagle. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I just in this uh, day and age, it's hard to believe right. this could happen. Yeah. I feel that show should be informative about surgery, mm -hmm. and this was very nice that mm -hmm. Leslie did that. Well, I'm very positive. And, um, this woman has her heart, and it's not just her hands. She's a terrific doctor. Well, well that's the other thing, too. Make sure you choose point. the that's right doctor right. for that's this right. surgery. And make sure that right you know doctor. that this is surgery, and you have to be careful, and you have to understand the risks. Okay. Ladies, thank you very, thank you very, very much. much. Leslie, we hope you uh, win that battle, get your job back. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that makes Thanks. me angry. <laughs> and Jill, <laughs> awfully nice to see you. Congratulations, you. Nice Dr. Collins. Thanks and very, very much. And Dennis. And Dennis, yeah. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment.